Hello everyone and welcome back to Hemeldown Model Railway. So in today's video we're going to be taking a look at one of the new Siphon G-Wagons from Acuriscale. So without further ado, let's crack on with the video. So first thing I'd just like to say about the packaging from Acuriscale. Um, the box was very well packaged with loads of bubble wrap inside and all of the um, Siphon G-Wagons came without uh, any damage whatsoever so that was great to see and also inside the box uh, came a couple of stickers with the A for Acura scale and also uh, some of these almost sort of like postcard style uh, things with some of their new annou announcements on um, which is some really nice little bit of artwork and uh, what I'm going to do is pop these up on my little wall where I've got loads of pictures and stuff. And um, it just so happens that I've uh, kind of pre-ordered this one here as well. So I'm looking forward to uh, having that one and doing a review for that one as well. Right, so uh, let's crack on with um, the unboxing. So it came very well packaged and inside the... Uh, cellophane uh, we have this one and the um, artwork on the box is absolutely lovely it's uh, quite a nice box as you can see so it's the uh, GWR Siphon G military ambulance and if I just turn it around the right way so this is the product code so it's Siphon G X 0 0.33 pattern ward car ACC 2423 A53207 in its olive green and era 3. So uh, let's get it out of the box and have a look. So as you can see in the blister pack, very well packaged. inside have a nice kind of a uh, little bit about uh, the siphon G and then opening it up so you've got an exploded diagram it just goes into a all the little parts for it so you can see how much attention to detail has gone into that and how many separately fitted parts there are and then also on here sorry about the shine uh, but it's got some of the other ones that they have done a little bit on uh, general information and uh, a little bit more on the back here with some of the general information as well So that'd be quite nice to have a little read through of that. So up on the top here, I have a little um, detailing bag. And inside we have uh, some magnetic couplings and a few various sort of vacuum pipes. And I think... Uh, sort of screw link couplings as well in the bag there as well. So if you do wish to have a little bit of closer coupling, uh, you can use those as well. It's quite nice. They've got sort of foam inserts all on the edging here to keep it all protected. So it's uh, very well packaged. And I'm just gonna move some of these out of the way. And then let's have a look at the model. So this is my um, first piece of uh, rolling stock from Acura scale. And I'm absolutely sort of blown away by the level of detail. Uh, livery, livery applications are really good, especially the detailing on the top there. And then 
that's quite nice with the sort of rubberized uh, gangway there. Loads of uh, separately fitted detail all on the end with the number on the top there. Uh, the little steps that go up and then the pipe work in there as well. Uh, it's got the standard NEM couplings at the moment, but as you saw in the detail bag, you can swap those out. Uh, some sprung buffers. And then looking on the underside, some nice load of detail on there, which you're not necessarily going to see. But then still from the side, you know, you're going to see all of this... Uh, Kind of pipe work and stuff anyway so you know if you were doing any sort of close-up running shots at least you'll see all of the details sort of poking through and stuff um, but this is a an absolute superb model um, i've seen that of cura scale i've done quite a few uh, decent locomotives and stuff um, i've been following them on facebook and stuff and watching other people's reviews and this was definitely something when I saw it come out that I had to pre-order. Um, yeah, absolutely stunning. Um, I can't really sort of uh, say anything bad about it. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to um, hooking this up to a loco and uh, having a bit of a running session with it. But yeah, I must say this is a, a definitely a, a 10 out of 10. And um, I do have a couple of the older siphon g wagons in the B, uh, gwr brown and this is uh, definitely about 10 steps up from that on detail so i'm going to pop this down on the track i'm going to take a couple of pictures and just pop those up on the screen now and then i'll uh, get a southern loco and uh, have a little bit of a running session right so back in a moment So this is it hooked up to the Hornby N15. And as you can see, exactly the right height for the coupling. And then I thought I'd just give you a little bit of a close up from this angle here. And I've actually got three of these so I thought it'd make quite a nice little ambulance train and I know that it's an overseas one but I just thought with a southern loco it'd actually go quite nicely uh, with this train uh, maybe the uh, siphon G's were brought back on the south coast during the second world war and then uh, shipped up or travelled up to London maybe on one of these locos so can be uh, kind of what you want it to be but that's probably what I'll run it with will be uh, the N15 or anything that's sort of a uh, in wartime black livery but yeah absolutely fantastic and uh, let's have a little bit of a running session Thank you. 
So I hope you enjoyed seeing a short little running session with the N15 and the Siphon G wagon on the back. And I'm really looking forward to getting another two to kind of complete the uh, train. Uh, I think they're absolutely lovely models and I'm really looking forward to sharing with you uh, another review because I also have um, the Siphon G's in the uh, BR Blue version as well. So I've got a couple of those to um, do a similar thing to this video and that will be out on Thursday. So thanks very much for joining and I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now.